This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen bravo hello steve kravitz hello alex bennett how's everything up there in uh massachusetts well i found an apartment you found an apartment well actually not an apartment i'm, I'm moving into a friend of mine's home well, wait, she, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute you told me this last time right oh yeah. i did yeah well, okay then well, don't, never mind. don't worry don't worry when people get old they start repeating themselves yeah, no kidding, huh? No, it was an ex-girlfriend, right? Right, right. It's a wonderful story, actually. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Kind of sweet that you two people really know each other. Right. You know, you, you've you lived with each other's quirks. Yes, before. So how how's that going to hurt, you know? Right. And she said uh, you'd be helping her, too, because she needs a little help on the rent. Right. Right, right. Well, she owns the house, doesn't she? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But she makes payments on it. Right. And you can right. help with that. Okay. Right. Good. Good. So how much cheaper is it than where you are? Half. Mm, mm. Okay, that's nice because they were going to double your rent, right? Right. Well, they, yeah. they, they raised it by uh, 30%. 30%. Yeah. Right. I don't, here in New York, they couldn't do that. You know, there are laws against that, but I guess there are. Right? I guess there aren't laws against that where you are, right? I guess not. I guess not. I actually, I called City Hall and they told me there are no laws against it. Oh really? Oh really? Well, maybe. What town are you in, Worcester? Right. Huh. Worcester. Yeah. Now, if you went to Boston, it might be different rules and regulations. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Wow. Well, you know. You're moving out. That's not, you know, I, if I were a landlord, I'd want you to stay because it costs me a lot of money when a, when a you know, when a renter leaves because I got to repaint the place. I got to fix it up. I got to do certain things, you know. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm leaving a lot of shit here behind. And then hope, okay, that you're going to get 30% more for it. Right. You know, right. It's, it's easy to say to you 30% more or you're out on your ear. Right. It's a lot harder to say 30% more if you want to move in. Because right. then, then they just say, well, to hell with you then. We'll find some other place. Right? I haven't given my notice either. You haven't given your notice? No, why should I? They don't have any uh, security deposit. They don't have any oh, clean really? deposit. They have no deposit on me. Really? Yeah, I got it back from my old landlord. Oh. And did you sign a uh, lease? No. Oh, well, you have no obligation at all. Right. Even the obligation to tell them you're leaving. Right, that's right. But just to be on the nice side, you could say you were leaving. Yeah, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> okay, all right, good for you. <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not nice and I'm just going to leave. And you're going to leave stuff there too? Oh, oh absolutely. W what are you leaving? A couch, a table, two chairs. Yeah. Did you buy those or were those given to you? No, uh, the couch was given to me, the table and chairs I bought. Okay. All right. But you're not going to need them where you're going. So. Right. Yeah. Right. And I'm leaving uh, hockey equipment, hockey sticks. Do you play hockey? I played hockey until I was 55. I didn't know that about you. I played hockey for 50 years. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask you this question. Where, did, where the hell did you play hockey in San Francisco? Uh, Yuba Buena Ice Rink. Really? I ran the whole youth program there. Well, folks, this is, it, there are always things you find out about people that you never knew. You know, 
It, 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 it Kravitz is a regular Wayne Gretzky. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. How good were you at it? I stunk. Oh, you mean really bad? But I loved it, so I kept playing. Okay. Well, you know why not? I mean, I wasn't the worst person out there, but I wasn't the best. Yeah. I held my own. Yeah. Okay. And I loved when I when I I also coached. Wow. Wow. This is, this, is, this is something I did not know about you. See, you learn something every day, folks. Yeah, I was the head coach. To, I ran the whole youth, uh, uh, like from uh, 5 to 18, I was in charge of all the kids. Now, why did you stop at 55? You got too old for it? Yeah. Is there, it, it really, you can get too old for it? I mean, for playing it just as a... You know, you like. Well, you got to remember. I mean, the league. The, you know, they, they can start playing in the uh, bear leagues. You know, the the adult leagues. Yeah. They can start playing at twenty years old. Oh. Okay. All right. So you know, at fifty-five, I, I got tired of watching these twenty-year-olds just sit by me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I I take it then you can ice skate. Oh yeah. <laughs> When was the last time you went ice skating? Have you kept doing that at all? Uh, last time I went ice skating was probably two years ago. Really? So you kept it up? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. Well, don't be. It's no big deal. Now, how? Now I got, I, I, this is a stupid question, but I'm going to ask it. Because okay. This is from a stupid non sports guy asking it. Okay. Okay. How much physical exertion does it take to play hockey a we, lot i mean you're dripping in sweat well i know you're dripping in sweat but i mean is it as much exertion as say football i mean i think it's more a lot of people don't know this but they think of baseball as a very athletic sport and actually it's the most sedentary of all the sports right right because what you do is you stand there you wait for them to throw a ball at you right then you hit it and then you run to first base. That's the exercise, right. the running to first base. That's right. But you maybe only do that once a game, and then maybe you go to second base and you're out. Hockey is kind of like basketball. Okay. Do you know basketball at all? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like you play offense and defense. Oh, okay. All right. You're always moving. Because and you change and you change on the fly. Yeah. In other words, the action doesn't stop when you go off the ice or when you come on the ice. You kind of jump on the ice right in the middle of a play, or you jump off the ice when the you know the puck's in the other end. Okay. All right. I think I understood that. I think. I, you think so? I think I did. Yeah. And I'm amazed that people they they watch hockey and they say they can't follow the puck. And I think it's the easiest thing in the world. Well, they what they did for television is I think they put something electronic in the puck so it showed up better on TV. Yeah, they stopped doing that. They stopped doing that? Yeah, that was nonsense. Yeah, because that puck goes flying pretty fast. So follow, yeah. I would imagine if you were there, following it is not a problem. No, not at all. Yeah, yeah. But I can follow it on TV. I don't know why people have trouble. The ice is white. The puck is black, you know. Figure it out. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Well, maybe they That's should make right. maybe they should make it bright red. No, no, because that would ruin the whole sport, right? That would throw the whole right. game off. Would it? Now they have a heavier puck that you practice with. That's red. It's a heavier puck. Mm -hmm. It's not a game puck. It's to gain strength in your wrist and stuff. Yeah. And of course, you get all those other jokes about what the puck. Right, yeah. right, right, yeah. right. The puck stops here. The puck stops here. That's a good one. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, so I, I, uh, I, you know, like I've never been into athletics that much, as you can tell. You know. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like I was into athletics at all. If you look at me now, but I was heavily into athletics. I played football in high school. Wow. If, you know? I, if I remember you, I mean, I don't see you here, but how tall are you? Five six. Five six, and yet you played football. Yeah. Doesn't that take a slightly larger person? I played on the. Uh, it was a hundred and fifty pounds or lighter team. Oh, I see. In other words, you couldn't play in a swift breeze. 
Right, 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 right. Son of a bitch. Uh, I, you're, I didn't know you were that athletic. I just thought, you know. No, I love sports. I love sports. Yeah. You, I watch sports all the time on TV. Well, watching it's another thing. You know, I mean, a lot of people watch it. I can watch some sports on TV. I enjoy uh, baseball. I can mm -hmm. watch. I enjoy that. See, I argued that, you know, they say these are sports and these are athletics. And yet, what is really athletic about baseball? Isn't baseball more of a skill? Oh, yes. Than it is. It's the hardest thing in the world to hit a round ball with a round bat. That's right. Okay. That's coming in at 100 miles an hour. But it's a skill as yes. opposed to an, a, a sport, right? Now yeah, I, can, I, would, I, I would say so. I consider hockey a sport. I consider basketball a sport. Football, I consider brute strength. I don't like football. I think it's just klutzy and dumb and full of brain damage. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot of stop and go football. You know what I don't get? I, I, I don't get about people in sports and how they get a certain reputation. There's this guy, Herschel Walker, who ran for, you know, senator down in, and I don't know how it turned out because we're recording this the day that, well, they're going to have a, a, a runoff. And I, I just don't understand, why would anybody vote for that guy? Because he ran a, a ball up and down a field? He's dumb as a brick. I know. Well, that's brain damage. I don't care what it is. I, 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 I you know, it frightens but, me that but, he's even getting votes. But yeah, but the fact that it was that close that they had to have a runoff—it shouldn't have even been close. That's right. That's right. You know, but somehow people in sports get a certain advantage, and and right. they attribute to them a certain wonderful quality that would make them a good senator. No, what? he's gonna be. He would be the worst senator. What about what he did as being a good senator? You know, and and so I mean that that's that's the problem with uh, with I I I hate people who trade in fame in one field for a political career. All right. Ronald Reagan did that. Ronald Reagan did it, but I have to give Reagan this this credibility. Okay, in that. He was not in movies at the time that he ran for, say, governor of California. Right. He had changed careers to giving speeches and doing things like that. And he had been out of the movie industry for about five years or something like that. Where, like that. Where, you know, well, of course, Herschel Walker's been out of, out of football for 40 years. <laughs> you know, I don't know why the reputation has followed him. Because he was an he was a Heisman Trophy winner, he was an exceptional football player. Yeah, I mean he was a cut above everybody else. He was like a man among boys. Yeah, yeah. I mean I just don't understand it. I really don't understand it. I don't understand why people. Oh, would he's, vote. he's anti. He's anti-abortion. Well, yes, of course, unless it's for somebody who he wants to see have an abortion, in which case he pays for it and takes right. them to the clinic. Right, two times. Two yeah. times that happened. Two times that happened. And he also, you know, he put a gun to his wife's head. That's yeah. a, that's another thing. I mean, this is the kind of... Kind of and, and he's got like four kids, all from different women. And he says, he says, well, that was the old me, but, you know, I'm older now and I know better. Well, knowing better would mean that you talk to your other four children. Right. And he never does. No, he doesn't. And and here, this is a political party that considers itself moral. Right. You know? Right. Family first. F family values. Right. Right? What What's family values about that? Well, he can win. You know? And apparently... Trump endorsed him. Hmm? Trump endorsed him. He's calling me. I don't... Know. See, I... It's, 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 it's spam, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a spam risk. I get a call all the time from Mr. Risk. <laughs> you know, but I, look I, get, I get these calls from California all the time. What happened to that whole thing about being able to sign up for do not call list? You know. I haven't heard of that in years. To begin with, I think all these calls are initiated from Europe. 
or you know, you so? maybe even the Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I don't know people. How do people really think it must work because they keep doing it? But you would think that anybody who got a robocall would go, screw right. you, and I'm never buying your product again. Because right. so, sometimes they say, oh, we're from Spectrum Cable, right? And then they try to pitch you something. Uh, what, right. I love, what I love is I get these calls. Um, this is the best one. Um, your car's warranty is about to run out. And uh, push one if you want to talk to a representative to make sure right. you have the our insurance, blah, blah, blah. So what the hell? I'm an old guy. I have nothing to do. I'm sitting around the house scratching my scrotum. You know, huh. nothing to do. So Nice uh, image, Alex. Yeah. Nice image. Yeah, well, yeah, isn't it, though? You don't know that I'm not doing it right now because you can't see my hands. Here they are, folks. Uh, anyway, uh uh, that I, I so I, I let them put me through to somebody and he goes oh, blah, 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 blah. he says what kind of car do you have I said a 1930 in 1913 Stutz Bearcat <laughs> that's one of my answers the other right. thing is to keep them on for a while and keep playing them you know because I've got nothing to do I'm not going right. anywhere you know it's not wasting my time I'm right. wasting their time and right. then I finally say to him, it's funny you should ask me about my car because I don't own one. Click. Right. You know. Right. And that was it. Yeah, click. So now, I, I told you about my inbox and how they're very concerned about my penis. They're also, I win a, a, a whole, congratulations, you've won $500. Congratulations, you've won this. Congratulations, you've won that. It's like I didn't even enter the contest. I don't even know what you're talking about. How did I win? <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing you really got to be careful about. And I've told people this over and over again. You get a, um, a text, and it says your, sub we, uh, your, the, your current payment for your subscription to Netflix didn't go through. Click here to correct it. Don't answer that. Don't, Is that right? You, because it's somebody fishing for your information. Yeah, and of course, I mean, how many people have Netflix? Do you have Netflix? No. 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 But you know, most a lot of people, two hundred thousand people in this world have Netflix. Two hundred million, rather. So, uh, uh, you know, they do that all the time. I get all these phony texts wanting to, you know, why doesn't the government do something about this? I get a lot of spam texts. Yeah, well, I mean, we shouldn't have to put up with that. No. And when I would say, I, I don't get a lot of calls from people, okay? I mean, it's not popular, all right? So I don't get a lot of calls. The most calls I get are spam calls. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I answer them if they have a 646 number on them because sometimes it could be one of my doctors and he's calling from another number. Right. Sometimes I'll, I'll answer it if the area code is, is in Massachusetts. But you know how you know it's going to be a robocall? Is when you answer it and go, hello? And you hear nothing for about five, ten seconds. And then all right. of a sudden, hi, we're calling about blah, blah, blah. As soon as you hear silence, hang up. You know. But uh, and, and the trouble with answering them in the first place is they know now that you exist. Right. So they've gotten that information. Well, he's above he's above room temperature. So. Well, there's, there's a couple half a dozen numbers that just keep calling me, and I just don't answer it. And they just keep calling. They don't leave a message. They just keep calling. Yeah. Last call was on Monday. Yeah. Last call was on Tuesday. You know. I think years ago, a couple of years ago, I got one for erectile dysfunction. And I, oh, I get those all the time in my email box. Really? I told you that. Really? I don't get them anymore. I guess they go, he's 82. He doesn't, he has erectile dysfunction. Don't even bother him. Right. You know, but I mean, I, uh, 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 it was, it was not, uh, not the good. I mean, it, uh, because it's embarrassing that they think that I have erectile dysfunction. You know, that I'm a. Oh, they think I have a little penis. Oh, is that another one you get? 
Oh yeah, stronger and longer, stronger and harder. Really? You know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, African manhood. African? Does it say that? Really? Yes, it does. Really? Because I know several black people with small penises. I had this one friend of mine who was a black guy, and he kept saying, I don't know where this whole myth came about black guys and big penises. Right. You know, so I feel sorry for all the black guys, you know, who have small penises, who then go out on a date with a woman, and when they're ready to bed them down, the woman's suddenly very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? I always hated, what I always hated was the uh, uh, Jews are rich. Yeah, me too. And it bothered me because, uh, let's see, you're Jew, right? Yeah, oh yeah. You were raised in a Jewish home, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were your in a kosher home. Oh, was your family rich? No. Did they? Not at all. Yeah. See, I mean, in fact, we were we were the only Jews in the neighborhood. I kept saying to everybody who ever brought that up, I only wish. You know, I wish that. Oh, when the Jews run, uh, run the media. Yeah. The Jews yeah. run are, are running the media. Well, then why aren't I getting a job? Well, you know, they said Jews are good at making money, and I'm going, well, no, I could dispel that myth. On the other hand, it is a stereotype they're applying to me, which is not necessarily negative. You know? No, not really, but... Like, if I say to a black guy, is it true all black people, all black, guy, black guys have big penises? Do you think he's going to say no? Or that I'm, right. I'm stereotyping blacks? But that is stereotyping blacks. But we we have to understand that there are good stereotypes and bad stereotypes, and you accept the good stereotypes and you reject the bad stereotypes. Okay. But as a as a matter of course, you should say goodbye to all stereotypes. You know. Right. So, anyway, eh, you know. So otherwise, uh, you're still working at Lowe's. Yeah, I just got home. Really? How, yeah. How was work, dear? Work was just dandy, my friend. Just yeah. dandy. Yeah. Did you have anything unusual happen at work? Yeah, I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've been there a while now. Since June. Since June, and and they like you, and you're doing good. Did yeah. They, are they giving you more hours? Or a little bit. A not little, enough. Not enough. How many hours do you do? Let's see, twelve. Twelve. So that's not enough for you to get medical insurance, for instance. Right. 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 Yeah. And it's not really enough when they, after they take taxes out, I barely make eight hundred dollars a month. You know what pissed me off? Uh, you, you know this uh, this uh, uh, a lottery we had. Right. Two point. Uh, what was it? One point four zero four billion dollars. No, one point six. It got up to. No, no, it got up to one two point zero four. And then, oh really? And then it got one by one person. Somebody wanted one person. One person out in California. I don't think they even know who it is yet. Uh, and uh, by the way, the guy who sold him the ticket, the store, the gas station that sold the ticket, gets a million dollars. Oh, is that right? Yes, yes. So, you know, that's nice too. But the fact was, they say, and then after taxes, it's going to be. Uh, Almost a billion dollars. Okay, so you're giving away half of it. Do you know in England if you win a lottery or you win a contest like you're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and you win one of those things? Okay. You don't pay any taxes. Is that right? You don't pay taxes, yeah. I went, I want to be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in England. I don't want to be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in, in America. Right. You know, but they had, to, he, whoever won got almost a billion dollars. That's no small amount of change. I'll take it any day of the week. Oh, no kidding, right? But still, it would be nice if they could keep more of that. You know? Well, there's a cash payout, too. That well, they well that, that, no, that's payout the, option. that's the cash payout, because it takes care of the taxes and everything, right. I believe. Uh, so what? So you get $900 million. 
Well, it was 998 million. Yeah. So you, what, you can't live off that? Well, it isn't a billion. <laughs> Invest some of it. Believe It'll me. It'll be a billion. Believe me, if I got it, I would have been wonderful. You know. Yeah, so, right. Yeah. Well, uh, unfortunately, I don't know how much longer I have to live, so I better spend that money really fast. So I'd throw, you know what I immediately do? I'd throw 100 million to you. Okay? How's that? I'd take it. Then you wouldn't have to worry about your rent ever again. Anyway, right. we got to go. I see the time it? is up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That's our old friend, Steve Kravitz. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Alex. Bye-bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Hello. How are you? And, uh, yeah, I only got one person waiting now. See, this is what happens on Thursdays. That's why I'm thinking of uh, killing Thursdays. Uh, putting Kravitz on on Wednesdays and I don't know, you know. I, I haven't figured out what to do. But I got one person waiting. And that's, that's embarrassing. And why it happens on, on Thursdays now, I have no idea, you know. But uh, it, it, uh, it's, um, and then also, you know, the number of people who watch this is not what it used to be. Uh, well, it didn't used to be great anyway, you know, but, because uh, I never did anything to promote this. You know, a lot of people go on other very well-known shows and they promote their podcasts, okay? Or they work for CBS, and CBS promotes it on their newscasts and on their news shows and so on. So and so has a podcast. Da, 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 da. You know, uh, me, I just, you know, I just do this thing, and uh, then, uh, then I am hit with the indignity of nobody calling. You know, and that is kind of getting to me. That's the part that's really, really angering me, getting me angered. You're getting me mad. Make something. Something or another. But anyway, so, you know, I just, I, I mean, I hate to constantly complain about this, but, you know, if, if number one, I'm not going to get very many listeners, then at least if I can get some participation, I would uh, enjoy it. You know, and what do you know? Jeff just, well, the one person I had waiting to do the show tonight went away. So... Uh, well, here comes Brian Neary, okay? I, I could talk to Brian for a solid hour, and I would be happy, you know. Um, so uh, let me let me see here. Yeah, what do you know, hmm? Jeff? Just, the one person oh. I had waiting to do the show. Hold on, today. hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Uh, I'll lip sync. I'll lip sync. Yeah. Yeah, might as well do some uh, entertainment to everybody who's watching. At least. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, uh, hold on. I, I, oh, I, I plugged in my headphones. Hold on. Plugged in your headphones? Okay, I bet you, I bet, uh, here comes, uh, oh yeah, here comes Jeff. How you doing? And his audio is fine tonight. Is he? That was my, my audio was bad this time. You were the bad boy this time, right? Yeah. So anyway, how you all doing, guys? Very nice. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. it is. What it? What is it with Thursdays? Is there a reason for it? You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, where are you going? <laughs> he's going to close. He's going to close the door. Yeah. Or as we call it, the. Listen. It's Adrian. It's Adrian. <clears throat> that was Adrian, right? No, it's uh, Stephanie. Oh, it's Stephanie. Oh. Yeah, my, my straight A kid. Straight A's? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my son's a problem. Yeah. Your son's a problem. Wait a minute. He's going to, he's talking now. He's doing his dad thing. See, I have to live uh, uh, vicariously through all these other dads about being a dad because I was never a dad, you know, or, you know, one that I raised. Uh, anyway, so the, the door is open. Come here. Come here. The, is this is this the straight A student right here? Yes. Really? Yes. Son of a gun. Well, it's Harvard <laughs> for her. There she is. Yeah, the boy I'm having issues with. 
Oh, wait a minute. She doesn't have the the uh, uh, rambunctiousness of Adrian, does she? she? No, she's a teenager now. So yeah, she oh, used she, to be like Adrian. Oh, she. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when Tiffany and I were first going out, I would hold my arm out and she would hold on and I would lift her up, you know, like an elevator and all that stuff. Yeah. Now they're too big and I'm wow. too old. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, so anyway, uh, 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 and but she, but she, the son has problems. What kind of problems? Just, Just grades. Grades. You know. See, see now nowadays you, you can... I can go online and I can see all her grades. I can see all his grades. I can see every assignment that he turns in. I can see the score of all of his tests and all his mm-hmm. assignments like live. So, yeah. So, you, you, not like when we went to school, you wait till you, your grade, your report card comes out and then you're grounded for bad grades. Yeah, right. No, now you're you can grounded. get in trouble in process. In, yeah. in process. Well, yeah. that's not bad because then you maybe can do something about it or try and intervene. Yep. <clears throat> My parents yep. could never intervene. They had to wait, wait till I came home with that postcard, you know, and mm-hmm. or that little card, rather, the report card. And mm-hmm. uh, then they would sign it, and then I'd have to take it back to the school. So My parents yeah. saw it, you know. Of course, that's my signature, but, you know, it's... Uh, but, you know, I mean, uh, uh, but you don't know, you know. Uh, I was not the world's greatest student, you know. Um, I think I had about a, maybe if I was lucky, I had a B average, but it was more like a B minus average because I just didn't, I didn't like studying and tests, tests, uh, uh, terrorized me. I mean, I would take a test and my hand would be shaking as I was trying to fill out the stuff, you know, so, um, school and I did not get along. But I turned out okay, you know, and and uh, I, I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I can read and I can write. Well, I can't write anymore. My handwriting is, forget it, you know. But uh, you know, so I wouldn't. I, I I'd pay attention to it, but I wouldn't worry about him. He may find something in his life that, you know, all this doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. I be I keep getting reminded that from some of my friends because <clears throat> I was on my own from like seventh grade on after my mom passed away, mm-hmm. and so and I turned out okay. So I, I'm trying to relax. But yeah, well, but did you? Let me ask you this. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, you're you're fairly successful. You've got a good, well-paying job, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, did Did you go to college? I went to vocational school for electronics, and then I got placed at uh, Special Physics and Hill Packard when I was young. In high school, I used to work. I really liked to work, so I knew I had to because I didn't have anybody to you know buy stuff for me. So I had to work. So I just got the work bug and didn't want to go to school. You know, yeah, exactly. Well, I never graduated college because I I, I never saw anything that I was learning in college that was helped me with what I wanted to do. I was already in radio when I was going to college, and so I took broadcasting courses, and I went, this is bullshit. <laughs> they, were, they were teaching us how to do radio dramas. Oh, wow. And, and there was no such thing happening when I started out in radio. That had been, that was maybe five years the last radio drama had been done on, on radio. I think in 53 was when the last radio drama was. Mm. And, um, and I think it was Gunsmoke, actually. Um, and uh, I, I didn't see any value in that. You know, teach these guys people how to be disc jockeys. Teach people how to do talk shows, how to, you know, how to relate to an audience. Uh, but they weren't doing any of that, so I finally decided, well, I, I'm wasting my time. I'm taking up a seat from somebody who maybe needs it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I got out of college, and uh, I did. And nobody ever asked me in my whole career, did you graduate college? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, never. But then again, today that might not be the case. You know, but yeah, I think I think people that I work with would be shocked that I didn't go to college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I because the mm-hmm. environment that I'm in is very you know it's 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 like hold on. thank you. Yes, that's the, <laughs> that's the sun. 
Um, I wouldn't worry. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about him. You may find out that there's something he's really good at. You mm -hmm. know, and he will achieve achieve at that. Are mm -hmm. there things he's interested in? Really interested in him? I mean, besides playing video games and things like that. You know, video games. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she he's already, smart. she. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know, the, the stuff that he's not doing good in school, the teachers put a comment, you know, he's not working up to his ability. But then, you know, he gets A's in math. And, but then, yeah, yeah some students. Wait a minute, he gets A's in math? A's in math, but then there are some classes that he's struggling in. But then I, I know he has the ability. So it's just, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but, no, but wait, wait, wait a minute. He gets A's in math. Yeah. Well, but that's then, that's a good thing to be getting A's in. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was terrible at math. Mm. You know. Yeah, he's always been good at math, and she's always been good at reading. She loves art, so she, she's only a freshman, and she's already looking at anime card uh, colleges to go to and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, <clears throat> what they just have. Um, Which is the younger one, the girl or the boy? The girl. Yeah. And. Um, Oh, we just it was on Bill Maher, right? Bill Maher, were they talking about the boys right now with the in high school and stuff and teachers? How the girls are really excelling now in in schools and stuff. Yeah, like that. I think yeah. On Bill Maher, right? The opening guy, the opening guest. So I want I want uh, him to watch that. But yeah, they do talk about how boys are struggling and antsy and and all well, that because happens. boys boys are different than girls. That's what they that's what Bill Maher was saying. Right. Uh, uh, he was saying that that girls um, are much can get down and do a job, you know, yeah. get, and learn something and do something. Yeah. Guys at that age are antsy. They want to go out. They want to play. They want to jump. They want to run. They want to do all kinds of things. They're much more active than females, so they don't fit the school situation all that well. Right. You know. Yeah, and it's so a lot of the. I mean, when I was in when I was in school, we had we had auto class. You know, we had auto auto mm -hmm. uh, class. That, you know, people were learning trades and stuff like that, and and you know they've taken a lot of that stuff away. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I, all I know is that I was not a good student. I was, you know, and I I was one of those kids that the teacher always said, "Well, he'd be better if he applied himself." Yeah. Well, anybody would be better if they applied themselves. You know. Yeah. But they knew I wasn't stupid, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. you know, I was, I was fine. I'll tell you another thing. I was so bad at tests that they thought I had a, a low IQ mm -hmm. because I couldn't take an IQ test without freezing up. Mm -hmm. So you know, this idea that you test somebody for later on, I got tested for my IQ when it wasn't. I wasn't going to worry about the test, right? Mm -hmm. And I did fine. I was, you know. I guess I was not stupid. Let me put it that way, you know. But I mean, it was the you it, testing. There was a there was a guy by the name, a doctor by the name of Doctor Banish Hoffman. He was a professor. I can't remember where. And he wrote a book called The Tyranny of Testing. And what he said was is that testing is tyrannical, uh, because what you're doing is you don't want the you don't want the right answer from the kid. You want the socially accepted answer right and yeah. that you know that uh he claimed that to every question there are at least two answers mm -hmm. you know and and uh, what you're being asked to do is to you're they're programming you and they're asking you to come up with the answer they want you to have like i had a i had a teacher once who uh this is in college and we had to read a an essay, and it was called Communism Versus Democracy. And so I read the thing, and the next day I came in, the teacher said, anybody have any comments about what we read la you read last night? And I said, yeah, the, uh, the whole article is invalid. And she said, why? And I said, because you can't compare communism to democracy in that communism is an economic form and democracy is the relationship of the of the uh, citizen to the to the uh, to the leadership of the country. In other words, you you have a democracy where you have freedoms and so on and so forth. Communism is not that. Communism is a uh, 
is a, an economic system. And she said, you're wrong, sit down. <laughs> okay, I wasn't giving her the right answer. You know, and the, and the fact is that they were doing that constantly in school. Uh, I, they, they were, um, I was taught in high school in a psychology class that the various levels of IQ were, you started with like, I think it was moron, and that was zero to, well, zero, you'd be brain dead, okay, but it was basically everything under 25 was moron, then idiot was 25 to 50, and then um, 50 to 75 was imbecile, and then 75 to 85 was American Indian. <laughs> that was, I was taught that, it was in my textbook. And then, of course, I was taught by a, a teacher who obviously was very gay, because we, we'd see him like, you know, movie theaters on the weekends, uh, making out with a guy in the back row of the theater. Uh, and uh, when we got to the chapter on homosexuality, it was like chapter six, we went from chapter five to chapter seven. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, it, it, the question was, at least in those days, what in the world are you going to be taught? You know, I was taught how to read badly. I was, when I was taught to read, there were two kinds of reading. There was look-see, and there was phonetic. Now, which one is the accepted one today, would you say? The look-see. No, no, phonetic. Oh, phonetic. Uh, okay. Because yeah, you... Yeah, uh, look see is like the word cat is looks like this. The, the word dog looks like this, and you mm -hmm. learn how. So I was taught look see. Oh, okay. I couldn't read to save my life. Okay, and then I went into radio and I had to read commercials. So how did I do that? I had to reteach myself how to read. I had to teach myself how to read phonetically. Mm. all because I got caught in this maelstrom that was phonetics just before I went to school. Then they went to mm. look-see, then they went back to phonetics. And I think all the kids that grew up in my uh, age group probably don't read very well. Mm. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Kevin. Hi, Alex. Yeah, how you doing? What's up, Brian? What's up? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Th this one, this one girl, I heard her talking about. She's Asian, and she talked about communication, and she talked about how you know, there's communication. You know, when I'm when somebody's talking to somebody, communicating to somebody, and it's coming back. You know, mm -hmm. but the ing it's not perfect English, maybe broken English, but you can still communicate, even if it's with your hands. You know, like give me that or something. You know, while you're talking to somebody, and they don't know perfect English. But then you have like the the you know the perfect the good grammar, and they they talk about how good grammar is really the English like oh wow you can speak you know good grammar but still as long as we can communicate that's the basis of everything you know so mm -hmm. yeah pretty interesting mm -hmm. so so you know I mean I just feel that uh, um, the, the way we teach uh, I don't know how we do it today but the way we were teaching was horrible. And I, yeah. I don't think we're doing it much better today than mm. we were. Yeah. You know. Yes, uh, Jeff. So explain to me what the phonetics mean, if you don't mind. Phonetics is like you don't, you don't look see is you see the word and you learn to see what that word looks like. This is how dog looks, this is how cat looks, whatever. Yeah. Phonetics is you see a word, any word, and you know how to pronounce it because you can break it down into its components. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, like for for uh, 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 cat would be k at, right? And you would see it as c k a t at cat. So that's the difference. Uh, and, and of course, it's far more accurate. You know. Yeah, and actually, it, so you know, Adrian's the first one that I've gone through at that age. So that actually, she was learning that. 
And it was crazy for me because I think about syllables. So I think cat, one syllable. But when they were taught, when they were learning it phonetically, the ka at the two. And I was like, why? Why are they teaching like that? I never. I don't remember being taught like that. I just remember it had one syllable. But they do break it down like you you say about phonetically. Yeah, they they have those long words, and they're actually going into every sound to put the words together. Yeah. 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 That's where I taught Sarah. I mean, that's where we learned it. Yeah. Right. Phonetically. Yeah. 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 But uh, as I say, you know, look see was the big thing when I was growing up, and they so I I looked and I saw and I got mm -hmm. words wrong, like you know I'd see mm -hmm. the word punt and then I got in trouble. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I had to You're learn looking. to read a second time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because of your the, of your stroke. Yeah, and I was thinking about which way they actually taught me. And uh, it, it, you, but you still you still can't read, can you? Not very well. It, it's it, it's, a, it's a, a dyslexia, isn't it? I can't do the not dyslexia. What is it called? Uh, 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 when you had a stroke and then you can't, you know, what happened to uh, the guy down in uh, Philadelphia? Aphasia. Is Aphasia. It? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that must be very frustrating because all your life you could read. And all of a sudden, you can't read. I mean, you can do everything else. You can walk down the street. You can talk to people. You can whatever. But then, when mm. you have to see the written word, right? You know. Yeah, my. I mean, I've known a lot of like, a lot of people have come here with <clears throat> Vietnam and stuff like that with no, you know, not knowing any English, and they said you can't imagine how it is to you know be going down the street. And I've been, you know, when I go to Italy, when I've gone to Italy, you know, you mm -hmm. see sign, street signs and. I didn't know where to park because I, I was at I was in Venice and I wanted to go park somewhere so I could go and there were some empty spots there but then I was worried because it's all Italian and it had numbers and I was like I don't know this is going to You know what happened to me it, oh, you know what yeah. happened to me in Florence? Huh. I come home back to the United States and I get a letter uh, and it's a bill for $300 a, for a, 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 a traffic ticket <laughs> and I couldn't remember getting a traffic ticket. Turns out what the traffic ticket was for was I went down a street where the sign said, do not enter here during the hours of noon and three. Now, uh, this is all in Italian, and how am I supposed to know, right? Yeah. But I said, and I wrote them, I said, how am I supposed to know? And they went, no excuse, send us $300. So, mm -hmm. so I sent them $300 because I wanted to be able to go back to Italy. You know, yeah. and drive a car. <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not going to pay you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, I went. Okay, and, then, and then Jeff, did they teach you phonetically though? I mean, because that's like, I could see a therapist being with, you know, with an adult trying to teach them where if you're, if your teacher teaching, a, you know, a kindergarten or first grader, they may be going through a different process, you know? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Like they could be taking an adult and like jumping a lot of steps, assuming, you know, you can read. So they're going to, hey, look-see here, I you should do a cat good. look -see, yeah. But really, you should be taught by a kindergarten or first grader to get down to those basics again to see it phonetically, you know? Yeah. Or were you were you taught phonetically or just look-see? Phonetically. Oh, yeah. so they broke it down then, every sound? Yeah. But yeah, but it was yeah. You know, if you can't break the words down, you know, if I mean after I'm, a while you get to learn a bunch of what I call the simple words. Well, a, a teacher in our case would show a picture of a cat. I'm using cat yeah. as an example. That's and then she would go she would point to the picture of the cat and go cat, C A T. But she didn't tell you how to pronounce it from the phonetics. She taught you how to pronounce it from looking at that word. And that right. word is cat. Yeah. That word is dog. Well, I mean, to teach and that way was ridiculous because, you you know, you have to get a, an amazing amount of words that you know upon seeing them. Uh, but if they were trying to regenerate somebody like Jeff, that would be the way to do it because they've already seen it at one time and they're trying to regenerate their memory. That might be the way to do it. 
But the, the, the basic thing is to, to, for me, was I had to remember what the words were. Right. It, not you speak the word. It's recognizing what it looks like. But yeah, but I couldn't even get to that point. Yeah. It, the, uh, you know, it was just. Yeah. Well, that's that's the brain. Yeah. That's. Yeah. The, What's the biggest biggest frustration you have, Jeff, today, still today, from the stroke? <clears throat> I get the thing is when you, when you want to do something and you can't you can't do it because you can't remember like killing the browser, killing killing, killing, killing the browser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's like one of the things. Yeah, like you know, and there's certain things that on the computer I can do it very easily, and and the browser. Uh, See, that's a strange word. I, I don't even know what that word really means. Oh, yeah. Well, browser is just, you know, when you look at your uh, web page, you look at a web page, like our web page, our GabNet web page. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, you watch it on your browser. Yeah. Th that device for watching it is a, a browser. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that whole process doesn't, doesn't work. Oh, I, you know, I've been having this problem lately where I'm lightheaded a lot. Uh, I don't know whether mm -hmm. it's the vertigo or whatever. Vertigo supposedly comes and goes. But this is there a lot of times when I'm walking down the street. And also my sense of balance is off, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also in, it, it, it inflicts itself on me, especially if I was taking the gabble and the pills I was taking, where certain functions I do here I couldn't do. Simply because I go, oh wait a minute, where, how, how again do I turn on the audio on this thing? You know, because it slowed down my whole process. That's why I don't take the pill very often. But then my feet hurt a lot. So you know, I mean, it, it's it's difficult, and I don't like anything that impedes my abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, all I'm saying is that I don't think I the dizziness is anything other than something going wrong with my inner ear. Uh, and, but it's pretty consistent. I get up out of bed, and you know that supposedly that's when you get it the most. But it's still always kind of there, you know. And uh, I find that very frustrating because I didn't used to have that, and there were things I could do. I don't think. Remember, I don't know if any of you could do this either anymore. But there was a time when. If I had to change a light bulb up in the ceiling, I just got up on the bed and changed the light bulb. Oh. How many of you can get up on a bed and change a light bulb now? Well, that was cool. How did you do oh, yeah. that? There's your answer. You, you froze up like you this. Froze. First, yeah. And then, you froze. then you went down and it caught you up and it started doing really fast. Oh, really? <laughs> really fast. That's strange. That's... Get on the bed. No, but we, it, getting up on a oh, bed. Oh, it was on acid again. On what are you talking about? Because you got to stand up high. You, you got to get up on the bed, and then yeah. you got to just then, put in the light bulb. Uh, I can't even get up yeah. and stand on the bed anymore. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going. You know what's it going to be like in another ten years if I live this that long? You yeah. have somebody else to the yeah, other people come in, but they have to do the light bulb. I have to call the super to change light bulbs now. I haven't been able to do that for a long time. Yeah, I can't get myself yeah. up on ladders and stuff now. I I ne don't go. I won't go up a ladder if you paid me. Yeah. No, I you haven't know. been able to do that for a while. I got you know when, when I do my pit boss stuff, I you know my pit crew stuff. I got to have other people do it now. Yes, folks, this is what it's like to get older. Yes, sir. <laughs> I would get up on a, a ladder still. You would? Yeah. I oh. mean, I, I've done it. Carefully. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah, well, it just gets weird once you start getting up a little bit high. And, and I have never had a problem with ladders or heights. I'd go up on a boom lift, you know, 40 feet in the air without a problem, swing around. You know when I'll I get you, up on a boom lift. You know when I get the dizziest? Playing video games. Mm, I could see that. I play video games. What about your thyroid? You ever had that checked? Yeah, I've had it checked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm taking a thyroid pill. Yeah. You know. Thyroid throws you off too, I guess, from what yeah. I hear. I'm not a doctor, so don't call me Alan. I may need, <laughs> maybe I need a heavier pill. That could be. I should try taking two of them a day and see what happens. See if it changes anything. Mm. Yeah. So what? What age do you think you start seeing these changes? 
At what age? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. 55. I don't so think. Do, do you remember when you're when you're fifty five? You're fifty five on the your XM. No radio. No, I was. I was. How old was I when I went to work there? I was sixty four when I went there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I was sixty four. Where were you when you were fifty five? Do you remember? Uh, I was probably at Live One Hundred Five. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's a trip. Mm. Yeah. Except that you're my age when I when I saw you all the time. That's funny. You know, it could be. I'm I'm going to try taking two of my thyroid pills a day and see what happens. See if it changes my lightheadedness. Could be. You know, could be any one of a number of things. But the point, I, I started the, noticing some things things that I do, but then I, I, I go back and I think, have I done this like this all the time and I'm just noticing it now? Here's or something it... that where I noticed mm -hmm. the change. First notice the change. I don't know when it was because it, it, it uh, snuck up on me very casually. All right. Here's what it was. You're walking down a flight of stairs and you hold on to the banister. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do that a lot now. Yeah, you see, been doing that's, that for a long time. That starts happening. Different yeah. reasons. Well, yeah, you've we got, got you've you've had things with your back and your legs and things like that. <clears throat> My legs, yeah. I've Me, I don't know when it started, but I do know that. For instance, I go to walk in the park, and most of the places in the park, the stairs and everything, they have a banister. Okay, so I can grab the banister mm -hmm. and walk up the uh, or down, and feel safe. But then there's some places in that park they don't have them. And I'm like trying to go down the stairs and I'm having to do my feet sideways and so on because I'm afraid of falling because I can't hold on to a banister. And, and the, I, I can't remember when the first time was I started feeling I had to use a banister because it creeps up on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. <laughs> I, we just got new new banister. We redid the house and... And I always grab that, and I sort of use that as my brakes when I'm running down too fast. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but, but yeah, I my driving, my driving, my daily driver. Mm -hmm. I notice when I take a turn, like left hand turn, I sort of take my time in it, and and mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I'm like, man, have I always been like this, or am I just noticing it now? Here's but, a, here's. Well, a... I, I got a message from uh, Josh, and he says he's down to say hello from Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, I really? He's traveling down in Arkansas. Can't call because his wife is asleep right next to him. So, in the other room there. <laughs> but uh, he's down there uh, getting. I think he's getting uh, indoctrinated into the Trump oh, yeah. environment. Yeah, well, Clinton. Clinton was from there, right? The Clinton, yeah, well, Clinton's Clinton, Arkansas. He went down there to um, try and get himself straightened out at the Clinton Library, but he still came out a Trumper. So, he may come back uh, a little bit different now. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you Trump. know what it is. It's in the Good water. Trump, it's in the water down there. Yeah, I Sarah think Sarah Huckabee is the new governor of uh, Sarah Huckabee. Yeah, I noticed that. I, yeah, I didn't. I, yeah. I suddenly I saw it's, Sarah it's Huckabee Sanders, mm -hmm. governor Bill? of Bill? what Arkansas, I guess. And I went, when did I, she? When did she start getting into politics like that? Because I didn't even know she was running. Oh, yeah, she started running right after she left the White House. Yeah. By the way, I got to say this, and I, 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 people are amazed when I say this. Uh, I, people say to me, well, who are some of the nicer people you've interviewed? Mm -hmm. And I say, well, you're not going to believe this, but Mike Huckabee. Was I know he, you said that before. He, now every time, every time I see him on a commercial on Fox, I go... How can Alex like that guy? Wait a minute, it, it, uh, uh, because he was, it was a very reasonable conversation. I, I pretty much said to him, I think you're full of crap, but gee, you're nice, <laughs> you know? Well, I, bet, I, I mean, bet you wouldn't say it today, probably. I, I don't know, I don't know, but then so he, was very, he was very reasonable in a discussion. Yeah, but he seems like he's deep in it now. Is he deep in it because it, it because it's it's a money making for him to be in that business? You Probably. Know? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these people do what they do because it's good for business. It's right. Good, I mean, know. he's doing uh, what relief factor commercials now. Well, that's different. You know, and then he's the, doing the uh, what the kids 
the kids for Trump commercials? Oh, some kind comic book. A comic yeah, book. It's a comic book. Tr Trump for and kids. Tells, yeah, what the fuck? The Trump story. Yeah. Uh, if I didn't have to give my credit card to order that, I was going to send one to Alex. But <laughs> they, they said it was free. But then uh, you got to sign up or do something. You know? yeah. Oh yeah, you'll never hear the end of it. You got to give in. You got to give them your firstborn. Well, you got to give them your credit card. So that, yeah, yeah, it wasn't going to yeah, happen. Yeah. Free for fifty dollars. Oh, I would love that. Oh, In fact, I saw it being advertised, and I thought about <laughs> getting one. Just the fun of it. You know. Yeah. Tony could get it for you. He's the he's the comic book guy. I got that. What was that book that Colbert put out a couple couple years ago? Uh, I got that for my buddy. Ah, oh, what the heck was well, it? What was the oh, book? What was the book that I got that was John Oliver that John Oliver put out? What the uh, hell I, was I, I'm trying to remember. I had but we have two of them in the house, and I can't even remember what the book was. But it was a kids' book. <laughs> Yeah, this was made into a kid's book and it was all of Trump's little bullshit. I forgot what it was now, damn it. And it was kind of put into a book and Colbert donated all the money he got out of it to some... Bill, Bill Bennett, I think, or his brother, uh, wrote a book also that uh, dealt with um, virtues or, or something like that. It's common that these guys all write books. It's a way to generate income. And then they can uh, hawk it on their shows. Yeah, but I mean, they all have their they have their cakes and cookies is what they've got, you know. Um, well, you used to have uh, the ability to book shows and promote them on the on the radio in San Francisco. Well, that's you, part of my contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you know, so other people hawk books and they get a ghost writer. You put on. Oh no! I mean, they, 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 that's the way they make their money. You know right. that that and giving speeches and and things like that. So they have to have kind of a consistent story to tell, and yeah. they pick one that's the most commercially feasible. Yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if if I listen to you correctly, how come Republicans are trying to sell books to Republicans? You say they don't read. So you I, know, I didn't say Republicans don't read. Just they read the wrong stuff. Uh, okay. They read only stuff that agrees with them. You know. And you don't, and Democrats You know, so we were having a nice discussion about education right. for hey, a while here, and then all of a sudden I, I Phil shows in, up. I was calling in about balance. Uh, in, in the last year, mm -hmm. I've been doing exercises that uh, create better balance, where I'm on mm -hmm. one leg and I'm leaning over, uh, I, I forget the name of it. They write it on the book. So, uh, and I stand on each leg for maybe 30 seconds. Uh, and it, what it's doing is it's, uh, it's training my balance. But you're 15 years younger balance. than I am. Try that when you're my age, Phil. Well, I, I, you got to start somewhere. Maybe by the time no, the, 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 it started 15 years later, I would. Those exercises. It was called, Whose Boat Is This? Comments That Don't Help the Aftermath of a Hurricane. What? <laughs> That's what it was called. It was comic. It was remember when Trump went around about the whole thing in the hurricane and look at whose boat is that? <laughs> oh, he, did a whole, he did a whole book on it. So I you know what? I decided I want to put out a book out. Uh, yeah. Have you have you heard the stuff that uh, Herschel Walker has said in his speech? <laughs> oh yeah, that's got to be a book somewhere. I mean, literally you, whole giant paragraphs. That make no sense whatsoever. Did you see the horse manure uh, philosophy the other day? Yeah, what was that? Would you? Geez. It was something like uh, the, you see a pile of horse manure, and there's a pile of horse manure. You know, there's got to be a horse on the other end. And if you keep digging through all that horse manure, you know you're gonna find a pony. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? that was it. The no, pretty I much. think yeah. that that's very country kind of. You know, a folksy way of keep him in the country. Just, just makeup, okay, though, but let me ask you this: makeup. Though. He was almost Giuliani makeup the other day. You can see that his. I'm not gonna. I thought he was sweating. I thought he was sweating. He was sweating, but if you notice when he turned to his side, you could see the makeup line that was like here, and it was almost like Giuliani. Only it was, <laughs> it was dark. It was you dark. Mean Herschel Herschel Walker isn't black. No, it was dark in his ear, but it was yeah. lighter back here. And I'm going, 
that looks like a makeup line, like right but, there on both sides. You kept going like this, but it was really no, shiny. So you're saying like, that Herschel Walker wears blackface? But I've seen it some. Look like it. <laughs> I've, I've seen some written out versions of what Herschel Walker has said, and you read it and you go, "What's he saying? What the heck is he saying? I know it." He said, I, he said "If we came from apes, why are there still apes?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, explain that one, please. Uh, that's I, didn't, I didn't hear that I, because I, you know, because I, the smarter I, I ones, him, the smarter ones, the, the smarter ones became humans, and the stupider ones ran became, for uh, ran for Democrat. senator from Georgia. They uh, no, I I heard him speak, and I didn't think that. I thought his his, his stories were kind of cute. Phil, and, Phil, uh, Phil, I, 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 Phil, I appreciated Phil. Them. Phil, oh my God. Phil, I know you're not this stupid, Phil. I know. I, 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 know, I, I, I don't. You know, I, I believe you're kind of like uh, uh, the Huckabees. You're saying what you're saying because you know it's uh, good for business. Okay. Not, believe me, if it was good for business, I'm in California. I would be, you know, uh, I'd have uh, Biden stickers all over my business. That uh, that would. Probably uh, you're out there on the border of the valley. You're right there. Yeah, uh, Concord. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You go about fifteen miles east. You'll be right there in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. But so um, I'm in the DMZ. You're in the DMZ. You know, right? you know something. It was really been bothering Buffalo. me is this whole um, <laughs> um, runoff. Oh my god! You know, and the concept of a runoff. You know, if you don't get over fifty, if nobody gets over fifty percent. There's a runoff. But what that does is it says that if you have third parties. You're almost going to have a runoff, okay? And if you have maybe if you encourage two or three parties, that could really push something into a runoff. It really should be whoever got the most votes, because what happens is they're going to go for a runoff, and it's not going to be the same election that just happened. That one had enthusiasm and so on. This next one, not as many people are going to vote. You know. Can Kevin explain what this rank choice? Thing is, oh, that's a very I, interesting. I don't understand that. I'd rather have a runoff than rank choice. Rank choice. I I haven't decided whether I like that or I don't, but I don't think I like it because what that means is, for instance, if I went in for governor here, right. I would have to vote. I'd vote for Hochul. Okay, I'd have to. Okay, I don't want to, but I'd have to. And who's the other guy? Zeldin is the second guy. So they Elvin. say. Well, so what's your first choice, Hochul? What's your second choice? God, well, I don't know. I, mean, I, I can't. Uh, Zeldin, I guess. It's the only other person running. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Tony's uh, took a picture of his uh, of his ballot mm -hmm. and uh, he sent it to me. And there was Zeldin and and somebody else running with yeah. him. And then Zeldin and somebody else uh, besides that person running. And Hochul had the same thing. So there was multiple choices. Well, what it is, there are, there, there are four parties here in New York. There's the, there's the Republican, there's the Democrat, there's the conservative, and there's the liberal. Uh -huh. Okay? And usually the person who is running under the Democratic Party also gets nominated by the liberals, and the same is true of conservatives and the Republican. Uh, and that's why you saw four. Why you ah. saw them twice? But mm -hmm. uh, oh, I see. So you had the conservative, and I the yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I don't know what happens if, let's say, I vote for Hochul as on the Liberal Party ticket, but I don't on the Democratic. Does it? It, it doesn't count as a Democratic Party vote. Mm. I don't know. So really, you want to go for the major party? You know, Kevin, uh, did you have ranked choice in the precinct that you were uh, covering? No. 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 Uh, but but you, you literally have to give the choice in order of who you would. I don't think you have to put in anybody. I think no. you can just vote for one and leave it at that. But, uh, but where did I? Maybe I saw ranked choice at some point here in New York. Uh I'll 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 put up the uh, thing behind me of the. Uh, Wait a minute! Uh, there's a movie going on behind uh, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let, me, let me see if I can. Uh, 
uh, put that up again. Okay. We have a ballot. Well, I know. You sure you had the ballot last night. By the way, uh, let me mention this while Phil is here. M my uh, YouTube grabs a, 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 a frame store from the show that it then puts up as the frame and you I see on my YouTube. Finger up my nose, and yours yeah. had, you had your finger up your nose no, <laughs> in the freeze it, it, frame. It, it wasn't up my nose, but... So uh, I went was, back. You well, thank me very much. I went back, and I they, they gave you a choice of three, and yeah. I went and got one where you weren't picking your nose. Well, oh, I kind of like that. Fun. <laughs> okay, so there you got Hochul and... Yeah, that's exactly Hulodaka. it. But you see, but what does it say up there? Uh, i got to get my glasses out. Because yeah, there well, it says Democratic, and then it says uh, working, working Families Party. Yeah. So I, you and know, it's I, Antonio I, Delgado as well. And then a couple of Chinese people that are running with him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, well, I think that's just translation. Oh, all right. So they were running with the same person. Yeah. Uh, but it's different. Uh, it, it's these other parties. Oh, yeah. yeah. And in the case of, let's see, Zeldin, what's the name of that party? Conservative. Uh, uh, yeah. Zeldin looks like Esposito. Antonio Delgado. I don't know. Oh, no, no, Allison Esposito. Yeah. Do you notice how both of, both of them got like uh, Hispanic sounding people running with them? Yeah. yeah. So. But uh, yeah. But that's uh, yeah yeah. But so I, Phil, so it was <clears throat> so reported by the Hill. It yeah. was in in a discussion about evolution with Waller or with uh, Walker and Allen, Chuck Allen, the, the, the pastor. Yeah. And they talk about it. If it's true, why are there still apes? Think about it. And then Allen told them, now you're getting too smart for us. <laughs> Who's Allen? <laughs> Who's Allen? Allen's the, the pastor. Is that the pastor that ran against him, right? No, or no, no. no. Oh, that's Warnock. Warnock. Uh, Warnock. 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 Yeah. So yeah. this is a pastor that he was there. They had a discussion about evolution, and the, the subject came up. And uh, so you, I'll, I'll send it to you, just like you send us all your crap. You know who I feel sorry for? <laughs> I was telling Marjorie tonight who I feel sorry for. Send it is to we have We have a person who calls us on our, on our Monday show uh, from Georgia uh, named Mandy. Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, right. She's the one that wanted to slug me. <laughs> oh, I talked her out of it. Anyway, Mandy. Thanks, friend. <laughs> I feel sorry for Mandy having to live in that state. You know, yeah, I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, if Phil will disagree with me on this, but Walker's a dummy. He's a real dummy. Uh, I mean, uh, almost laughably so. Uh, I wonder what he thinks about you. He doesn't <laughs> care about me. But, well, that's but, true. But how how anybody, given the choice of those two people, could possibly mm, go what, for Walker as the said before. Huh? Sam just said it. He probably has uh, brain damage. Yeah. So oh, I'm kind of, sure he has brain and, damage. And I think you said, you said that uh, before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I I think that it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a sad thing. That the, the people down there even considered voting for him. I mean, in the, those numbers, although now he's a full, uh, what, full point, point. In, point behind now? Yeah. It doesn't matter. As long as uh, both yeah. of them are under 50, there's going to be a runoff. I think, I think Warren uh, will win it because I think the Democrats will probably come out more than the Republicans. Do you think that uh, there's uh, the third party guy, the libertarian, that the well, libertarian? He, Votes will break more to uh, Herschel Walker. Than no, I don't. Th I don't think so. It, because uh, I think libertarians kind of think of themselves as smart. You know, um, I, I kind of said well, Walker were, doesn't. He doesn't they all represent think that. They, they're kind smart. of the unitarian of politi pol politics. Okay. You know, I mean, they, they have a slightly. I think I think they'll go towards. Uh, they may not get out and vote. Th that may be the other thing too. They just may not vote. Why? There's no dog and there's no skin in the game. For mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of money thrown at that. Oh election. yeah, 
But I mean, if I were in 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 Georgia, I would be going nuts about now being you know, so sick. Wait a minute, being so sick and tired of <laughs> seeing all those ads on television. If you, know? if you as Gabnet offered advertising for that campaign, you could probably get some paid advertising on Gabnet. Yeah, they'll be throwing based, money based everywhere. on my audience. Would be three cents an ad. <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, it, it's just it's it's uh, you know it's uh, it's it, and it's very costly too. I mean, I think the idea of runoffs are terrible. I th- it be, and it's terrible only because if you could have the same election as the last one and the same amount of people going out and voting and so on and so forth that would be fine but it's it changes it's like a whole different election now how come florida was able to uh count the votes and get it done in 14 hours because listen be- listen 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 you're gonna you're gonna piss me off now because it, this is what irritates me about the media right now and they're all sitting around going how come we can't count the votes in one day how come it takes so long blah 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 well you know what the fucking votes have been coming in by the mail that's yes. right the votes have been coming in by whatever means they have because more people are voting well no but it's more than that we had i think you i think you hit someone a would go out and vote in person i think you hit a long more. lines and it would discourage people yeah. and they wouldn't go vote so now the, the secretaries of states have made it easier for everyone to vote. You can vote by mail. You can fill out your form and, and take it to the box. You can, you know, put it in the mail. You can do it right up to the day of the election. Okay, so we got to take an extra six or seven days to count the votes because they got to travel in the mail. What is the problem? Why is everybody sitting there picking their nose and going, why does it take so long? Because it has to travel in the well, mail. When I was when saying, I, well, the truck's going to go a different direction. And he's can, not I, can I rebut that? No, Why you, did Florida Why don't get you it just counts? wait and let me finish? Because I, let me finish? Const- well, I think it would be nice if you okay, let him ahead, finish, Phil. Phil. Go ahead. I thought he finished. You know, well, he, go ahead. Uh, all right. It's, you know, I thought you finished. but Yeah, you see all the time everybody's finished, okay. but you just butt your ass in. That's true. You got to oh, fight go to get in. You got to fight to get in. Yeah, you you the don't question, you don't you just butt your was, ass in. You're always butting your ass in. Right. The question was why but, did Okay, Florida, go ahead, finish. All right. The the question was go ahead, why finish. Did, <laughs> why did Florida count the votes in 14 hours? And you said uh because they, they cheat down there. No, they did. <laughs> they they they've got stopped counting when DeSantis was winning. Yeah, they, they've got a lot of different people voting. Whether uh, it be uh, you know, it's something, Phil, that's very nice of you to say, but you're wrong. What do you mean I'm wrong? You're did wrong. They not get the How long did it take them in in the Gore, uh, they uh, uh, the Gore Bush to finish the count? Months. Months. Okay, so there but, there goes your theory. But that was twenty. That was twenty some odd years ago. Are the they best finished election. Counting? Huh? The best? Are they finished counting? What do you mean? Now? I believe so. I believe they you believe finished so? No. Hours. What so happened was here's here, here's where, here's where, here's where they don't have mail-in ballots. Hold on a second. Here's where Phil's wrong. What he's doing is he is assuming because uh, DeSantis won by such an overwhelming amount of votes. Okay, that uh, they came out with the winner uh, well, sure, really fast, projected. but they did because they had a definite winner. It's projected. Yes. It's not done. Yeah, it's not done. They haven't counted all the votes in Florida. Because they Phil. still have to give you six days from the day of the election to count the votes, for because the yeah. mail is the still the reason delivered. why it was finished overnight is because it was such an overwhelming win on the part of DeSantis that he that they the other guy uh, conceded and it was over right. with. Okay, sure. that's 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 a mathematical. Prediction. But if it had been really close, they'd still be counting Florida. And don't, what are you looking for, Phil? Yeah, There's nothing to for look for. I, I wanted a statement online that said that they'd finished counting all the votes. You but won't get it until now, Saturday. Now, DeSantis said that they uh, were counting the mail-in votes from 7 in the morning 
and uh, and they got them and they got them all counted. I, I was. I'm sure there are still. But they can votes count they what have they have, count. but they have to wait for the mail to come in if they have mail-ins. Maybe they're communistic and they don't have mail-ins down or, there. Or maybe their mail-in system. Hold on a second. Let me finish. The, their mail-in system is probably completely different, in that it probably is a mail-in system where you have it has to arrive at the election office by. Uh, election typically day. six days but typically it's six days okay so you have that that cushion in most states you might not there you don't know what the rules are in florida but yeah. but Can the reason the reason stuff? why it's taking longer to come up with winners and i've heard people arguing about this and so on is because of the mail-in factor mm-hmm. you know the uh, mail-in and, factor and the, ta- and the media is sitting there going why is it taking so long because it's mailing in and because it's given the people the opportunity to vote. He's Even if they attention. mail it, if they vote on Tuesday in their front room on their couch at 745, they can walk down to the post office at 755 and put it in the mailbox or and get it stamped. Mm-hmm. And that's how long it takes to get yeah. to the to the county office and get counted. Yeah. That's the way it is now. And in the I old days, in the old days, the oh, in the old I days, like- wait a minute. In the old days, there was only uh, one way. Thirteen hours to vote. Yeah, and then they, after that was over, they added up all the votes, and that was it. You know. Yeah, and if yes. you didn't make it, yes, you were screwed. Jeff. Yes, Jeff. So the previous way, Memphis, that that day was the day you can start counting. Now the question is, when you have when I put in my mail, uh, yeah. you know, about two weeks ahead, do they start counting that? No. no. Nope. No. I just so they have all of this data on a box. Phil is looking like crazy online. Uh, trying to no, no, I just sent, I just but sent I an article. I sent an article right. to you, Alex. I'm not going to gonna read it, Phil. Uh, it's from the Sun it. Sentinel. In Florida, and it says that they started processing mail-in ballots 22 days before the election. Well, they shouldn't have processing. Yeah. Processing the counting. Sure. They process them and they put them on a shelf. They're not supposed to open. They them don't count they... them. They don't count them. They process them. Uh, we process know, ours. Phil, 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 Phil is going to just keep looking and keep looking until he finds something. The article. Yeah, well, we I'm not going to read it. Is we take them in. We accept them, we stamp them, we don't open them, but we t- also send out a text that says, we've got your your ballot, it has been received at the county office, and it goes onto a shelf, and it sits there until election day. Okay. Then they get start getting ripped open and put through the machine. Well, they said, How do you think it would they, look if they started pulling them open two weeks before? That would I, be shitty. This article said in Pennsylvania they start oh, uh, processing them s- at 7 a.m. the day of the election. Okay, yeah, well, that's, fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's when they pull open. Processing, Phil. Well, processing. That's, that's, processing that's, 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 means they get the they get the ballot get and they ready. say we got it and now we will put it here so we'll count it on the day of the election. They it, don't it's open it's and count. Up, it's Phil. set up getting the results out of Florida. Phil, Florida, it didn't speed up anything, no, Phil. No, 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 no. Phil, I tell you to do this. Go to your county office, ask them for a tour. They will walk you through the whole process. Well, this we is can do it right here. I'll, I can do it for you tomorrow if you want. Come down. I'll buy but you the lunch. The question was, why did Florida... Process. I don't care yeah. about Florida. Uh, we they don't, don't care about probably. Florida, Phil. But if we did, Phil, it, they haven't. I guarantee you, they haven't finished counting all the ballots in Florida. But uh, the okay. but the contest has been won. Well, I don't care if you sent me the article. You know. Anyway, well, you, hey, listen, we've run out of time. We've run out of time here. Yeah, okay. Th- thank you so much, Brian. We had a very nice discussion on education until down Phil down. came yeah. along. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Nice discussion on education. Till Phil came along. Uh, Kevin, nice discussion. All I wanted to talk about was balancing. I wanted to help with that one, but yeah, got the yeah. And and thank you, Phil, for calling as well. Everybody, oh. 
Yeah. I'll people. try and call tomorrow. I'm driving to LA and back tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'll be back by then. But. <laughs> okay, but give a big wave goodbye, everybody, and I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Hey, listen, uh, our uh, good friend uh, uh, Jack Bishop is on next right here. Okay, on GabNet, follows us right here. Just an audio only program, however, and he's uh, he's uh, going to take your calls on Skype. At GabNet Live, GabNet Live is the address for you to uh, uh, call in on using Skype. Meanwhile, we are going to take the next uh, 22 hours off, or 22 and a half hours off, and we'll be back again at 10:30 tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye bye.